Upgrading the components of your overhead crane system could be a way to keep pace with the increasing production without buying a brand new system altogether. And in this video, we'll cover which components can be upgraded. Welcome to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Devin and today we're going to focus on the specific components of your overhead crane system that can be upgraded instead of replacing the entire thing. First, let's start with crane control systems. For newer types of crane controls, there's an added safety bonus when converting from a pendant to a radio control. Radio controls operate wirelessly using a transmitter and a receiver and don't require the operator to be tethered to a crane like a pendant system does. This allows operators to work away from the load and also away from other obstacles or trip hazards as the crane moves down the crane bay. Modern style radio controls also offer diagnostic and monitoring off-site or on-site. Crane operators and production personnel can now use mobile devices, tablets, workstation computers, or an operator's belly box to view real-time diagnostic data. With the introduction of variable frequency drives, microprocessors now control all components of the drive system and provide smoother acceleration and deacceleration curves. This allows for smooth starts, smooth transitions, and smooth stopping, which greatly reduce the strain on gear, boxes, couplers, girders, and other crane components. Also, by eliminating the abrupt starting and stopping of your crane, you get far less load swing because of the crane moves in a controlled manner, making it safer for everyone on the floor. Next, brake systems. Like many other components of an overhead crane, it can be difficult to source replacement parts for a crane's braking system. Overhead cranes with older brake systems also miss out on the newer benefits of newer technologies like wear sensors and auto adjust features. Auto adjust features make sure the brake is always in proper adjustment and doesn't require maintenance or service personnel to manually and repeatedly adjust those brakes. This results in equal wear on the brake pads and less wear and tear on the moving components. Having a microprocessor control the motor and slow the crane's motion versus using the brakes to slow it down can prolong the life of the brake system entirely. Next, hoist, trolley, and gearbox. Most often, the overhead crane's hoist is considered an age-related replacement. If you've been using the same hoist for a while and the gearbox has become worn, it may be time to swap out to a newer model. Over time, it can become harder and harder to get replacement parts for hoists and gearboxes. Even a model that's 10 to 15 years old might have parts that are now obsolete or harder to track down. Sourcing those hoist components can become expensive as the price may jump if the parts are harder to come by. A change in production needs can also require you to replace the hoist on your overhead crane system. If you're adding a new production shift or starting to make heavier or more frequent lifts during the course of the day, you might need to upgrade to a hoist that meets the proper service specifications. This will ensure that your new hoist is designed and built to withstand the rigors of the job you'll be performing. Gearboxes also have the longest lead time for replacement gears and internal components. Most styles of overhead crane gearboxes aren't commercially available, so individual components are repaired or replaced. Manufacturing or reverse engineering of these gears and components can take long times due to machining and heat treating of those components for strength and durability. Next, end trucks and wheels. One of the most common problems with an overhead crane is uneven and excessive wear to end truck wheels. The wheels on an overhead crane will naturally wear down due to normal use and may require more frequent maintenance, replacement, and adjustment than other components. However, a crane that is out of alignment or is moving loads outside of the capacities and service classes that it was designed for will put extra stresses on the end trucks and wheels as it moves down the runway. You can upgrade the wheels made for a hard material that is best suited for the application and for the hardness of the rail itself. A wheel that is harder than the hardness of the rail will begin to cause excessive wear to the rail or the beam itself, so make sure that the wheels were made specifically for the rail that they're running on. The majority of crane wheels are made from high carbon steel, but can also be made of polyurethane, alloys, cast steel, and or medium carbon steel. As wheels and end trucks age, it can become more difficult to get older style bearings or cast wheel replacements. Oftentimes you can immediately increase the efficiency and performance of your crane by upgrading and combining multiple systems, especially as it relates to the drives and controls. Next, electrification systems. An overhead crane's electrical system can cause more downtime than anything else. Loose or broken wires, shorts in the electrical connections, and blown fuses can all require service calls that result in equipment and production downtime. In some instances, your main control panel could look like a rat's nest of tangled and unmarked wires as a result of different service technicians digging through and trying to patch together a fix over time. Upgrading to a newer electrification system comes with inherent safety features. All new wiring is insulated or shielded, and it should be routed cleanly with clear markings and indicators during the installation process. 
You should also be aware that if you're currently running three bar conductors to power your crane system, you are not in compliance with industry standards. Current design standards for overhead cranes require the use of four bar conductors with a ground. There are no exceptions or grandfather clauses. If you're still running a three bar conductor, you need to upgrade your electrification system immediately. Next, structural and runway components. Structural components on an overhead crane can be replaced if necessary, but when designed and installed properly, can far exceed the lifespan of other crane components. Replacing or upgrading the runways, girders, or tieback supports can be one of the most expensive projects you may go through. During a process like this, you've probably already had an engineering team come in and provide a structural survey and a foundation assessment of your building and flooring. At this point, you'll have to do a thorough cost-benefit analysis of what it would cost to replace cracked, bent, warped, or corroded runways or bridge beams, plus any other components that have reached the end of their effective productiveness, versus the cost of a brand new overhead crane system. I hope this video was able to give you a clear understanding of the components you're able to upgrade should you choose to ramp up production in your facility. If you're considering making an upgrade to your facility, feel free to reach out to one of our lifting specialists for an overhead crane consultation. They'd be happy to meet with you to discuss the future growth of your business and how an overhead crane system might be just the thing that you need. As always, if you like this video, feel free to like and share it with some of your peers and coworkers or anybody that might be considering an increase to their production. And if you haven't already, we welcome you to become a subscriber to the Lifting and Rigging channel. So that way you don't miss any of the new videos that we make each and every week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.